Hey third graders, today I'm going to have you do lattice for your math work. We've been doing this in math meetings. Some of us haven't been at the math meetings and then just to make sure, I will show you how to do lattice step by step. Okay, let's use this problem 13 times eight for our example. So that's the problem the first thing I need to do with lattice after I know the problem is draw a rectangle. I'm going to do that next. And there it is, a rectangle. Next, I'm going to cut this rectangle in half. Okay, now that rectangle is in half. Now I'm going to divide each of the squares diagonally in half. I'm going to divide that square diagonally and that square diagonally. I will show you. And there, I divided both those in half diagonally, and I used a dotted line. You wouldn't need to. Okay, that is the that's box that that shape. We need that every time we do lattice. Just so you know. So take a good look at that because that's how it should look every time. Now we're going to take our problem and put it on our lattice and solve it. 13 is going to go on top, 8 is going to go on the side. Now remember, the problem came from me, so all you're doing is taking it and moving it down here. So that's the same thing, I hope you see that. Okay, so when I do lattice, I start, I'm only multiplying today by one number, the 8. So I first take it 8 times 3, okay? 8 times 3. Well, let's say you don't know what that is, 8 times 3. That'll be a problem. Well, first, you can figure it out by doing an array. Second of all, you could use your math chart. Let me show you how to use your math chart. So I'm going over here to my computer, and there's 8. There's my row of 8. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. And there, 8 times 3 is 24. 24. So it's 24. So in this box, I write 24, okay? But it's very important that I put the two here and the four like that, 24. Not the other way, no, no, no. Two in the tens place. These are like tens and ones places, but that's where you put the number. Okay, I just did eight times three, great. Now I do eight times one. Okay, what's well, 8 times 1? Well, that's 8. There's no number here because there's no number in the tens place. If it was 18, I'd put a 1 there. If it was 48, I'd put a 4 there. But it's not. It's 8. Okay, so far, this is how it looks. The next thing you got to realize is that this is kind of diagonal, but we have rows. We have rows. And what I'm going to do now is take this to make you see that that's a row from here to the bottom. There's only one number in it. And then this is a row. Between, between here and here is a row. And notice here, there's two numbers here. There's only one number here. And there's no number here. Okay, so now I add up my rows. Well, look at this first row. It's four but with nothing. Well, that sounds like four to me. Four. Let's make a better four. Now, in this row, I have 10. So I really what I do is put zero here, then I carry my one into the next row, which seems kind of silly, but that's what I do. Because this is really 10, right? But I can't put 10 here. I gotta carry it, just like we were adding, because we are adding. Then, what's this row? One plus nothing is one. Well, there is my whole answer. What's 13 times eight? It's 104. That's how you do lattice. Let's do another one. Okay, another example, another math problem. What is 23 times five? Okay, great. First thing I'm gonna do is draw my lattice box. That's what I need to do. Step one, draw the rectangle. Step two, cut the rectangle. Step two, Cut the rectangle in half. Rectangle is cut in half. Now I do the diagonal. Start from one corner. Go to the top. Start from one corner. 
Go to the top. Okay, you're looking good. Now move your math problem here, 23 and 5. And let's start multiplying. Okay, first math question. What's 5 times 3? Well, there's a couple ways to solve this. I'm going to do an array. So I'm going to have three circles full of 5 to figure out what 3 times 5 is. And there's my array. Three circles, five things. What's that? 5, 10, 15, 15. Remember, the 5 goes in the 1 side, if you want to think of it that way. The bottom corner, the 1, goes there. Okay, I'm done with 5 times 3. What is 5 times 2? It's 10. Because it's two digits, remember, I have to split them up. Now, this can be the hardest part. These are your rows. They're diagonal rows. They're kind of different. But notice here, I'm going to add up that number. Let me get rid of my cookie here. And then I add up these numbers and this number. Those are the steps. What's 5 plus nothing? Well, it's 5. Okay, I'm done with that row. 1 plus 0, that sounds like 1. And 1 all by itself, that sounds like 1. So what is 23 times 5? Yes, it's 115. And that is how you do lattice. So on today's problem, I want you to solve them all with lattice. And I want to see your work. Look at my whiteboard. You can tell what I did. You can see my work. I want to see your work, so it's going to be a little trickier. So you're going to need to probably take screenshots instead of just the answer. Sorry. So I'm going to give you not that many problems to do, but because of that, I need to see your work. That's our kind of our deal. Okay, good luck. I bet you'll do great. Remember, it's always going to be okay to get help on this or any other work you need. Okay? All right, bye for now.